I'm Nick Orn for Body Power, and welcome Steve Cook. Thank you. This is the first time we've really spoken. Yeah, it has. Why I, have I you met avoided you me? I'm sorry. I, I've been trying to avoid everyone. I was getting <laughs> big. Going as fast as I can to the Optimum booth and then coming back. Well, you just keep getting stopped. I mean, you are uber popular. I, I don't get it. What is it about you that people like? I, I don't really know, to be honest. I think I just like having a good time. I think that they're, uh, you know, in an industry that I feel like there's a lot of secrets and, you know, there's people afraid to, afraid to be themselves. Um, I just, you know, try to keep it real, have fun with the people. I'm not afraid to act goofy. Uh, I don't know. I just like having having a good time. Goofy is a very American name. It's goofy, a very, yeah. It's an American word. A little cheeky. A little cheeky. Yeah, you know, not, not afraid to take silly selfies and things like that. But more importantly, just, uh, I think, genuinely caring about people who want to be healthier, generally caring about other people's fitness. Yeah. And that's, uh, you know, sincerely what I guess the Soldier Nation and Optimum Nutrition, what they're really about. And what's your background then? I, I grew up playing all different kinds of sports in, uh, in the U.S. My dad was a uh, football coach, or not a football coach, he was a basketball coach and then an athletic director. I played college football in the States, um, American gridiron football. Um, and then after I, you know, kind of my dream of the NFL was gone and once I realized that that wasn't going to become something I could do um, I had a couple injuries but also just wasn't in my you know wasn't in the future for me bodybuilding and physique competing was always something I wanted to do always something I, I would do my workouts for my sport and then also physique build so I got, I got into this industry fortunately you know teamed up with optimum bodybuilding.com met some great people Jamie Eason was one person I really studied into this industry and then I don't know, just kind of so right well, time. You, you know, the, um, a lot of people will be thinking, I'd love to do what Steve Cook's doing. Of course, there's thousands of people out there that would love to do what you're doing. So, what? You, I mean, you jump then between uh, your sports and then suddenly you were sponsored by, by ON and, and involved with Bundbuild.com. What, what, what was the bridge? How did that happen? You know, for me, I won a couple competitions. I won the bodybuilding.com fit body contest, okay. bodybuilding.com spokes model contest, uh, the muscle and fitness male model search in Las Vegas every year, and then I became an IFBB men's physique. So I really, uh, I guess, as men's physique kind of was up and coming, before it was ever really out, I was on stage in board shorts. And then men's physique came out, I was the third guy to get my pro card in that. And I think, you know, I just try to live a, a, a mindset of healthier is happier. So, I, I, you know, for me, it's just about having fun, living a, not only physically healthy, but mentally and spiritually, just having well-rounded. But you, it sounds like then you, you actually work really hard to get into the position of Definitely. being sponsored. Definitely. It's, you know, I, I tell anybody, you want to do this, it's a job. Every day, you know, it, it's just like anything else, you got to put in the time into it. It's not just time in the gym, it's putting your time into your business, your brand, you know, what sets you apart that others want to be attracted to. And you know, I, I, you know, I think I've been in the right place at the right time as well. But just, it's been a, a unique experience that I think that I, I truly enjoy helping other people out. And I'm not, a, I'm not afraid, I guess, to fail. And that's huge. And um, how often do you leave the states to do tours yeah. around the world? You must travel loads. I travel a lot. The traveling has definitely been the, what I've ran into is the toughest thing. Yeah. Um, just this year, Toronto. Brazil, Australia, England, I go to Ireland, Scotland, Wales, um, South Africa, I'm going to do, like I said, New Zealand, I'm supposed to do Brazil, didn't get a chance wow. to. You're pretty much covering the whole world then. Yeah. It's well, the only place I want to go. What's that? It's an invasion. Hey, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, kind of an invasion. <laughs> I, I want to get to more, uh, been to Singapore, Malaysia, but never been to China or Korea. Those do, are two you, places. Do, do you see the place when you go there, or is it into the show, see the fans, and then leave? Unfortunately, uh, I, I, in the past, I haven't really taken advantage of it. But this year, when I go to New Zealand, for example, I'm hopping over to Fiji. Oh, nice. Take some, some, take some time to Wusaw. Uh, next time I go to Australia, I'm going to take some more time and, and see maybe the Gold Coast. Um, I do have some time off here. You can see London. Go down to Wales, like right. I said, and, and you know, enjoy it. Put put hard work in, but also enjoy it. 
OK, and uh, well, I can tell you for sure, the UK fans absolutely love you. You know, when you put a tweet out, everyone goes crazy. I've been doing interviews around with some of the visitors to say, oh, you know, what are you here for? Most people said Steve Cook. <laughs> and I'm not joking. That's Most people funny. I've asked have said Steve Cook. Wow. That's crazy, isn't that it? That is because, crazy. Um, I mean, I know you're obviously a great guy, you know, but you're still young. Yeah, I, 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 feel like I'm, I feel like I consider myself still young. Or is it all plastic surgery? It's all plastic surgery. No, I'm, I'm 29 years old. Oh, right, right, yeah, um, young. But I feel like, you know, it's, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't feel like I've really done what I set out to do yet. So I'm still very eager to, to see this through and see more people. What, what, what is it you set out to do? What's your ambition? Well, I think that's kind of evolved. And, and at first, you know, I wanted to compete. Then I saw, I guess, that this industry, the fitness industry, is in not need of truth, but in need of, of, of learning a new way about things in terms of there's so much push for flexible dieting, for healthier options. Also, so many people don't talk about things like eating disorders and really concentrating on not just the outside, but the inside as well. Um, you know, there's, there's people in the mainstream like Chris Powell that I really look up to, um, people that really take people that want to get just in shape for life, not necessarily to compete. To me, that's what I really want to do. There are the people that I want to inspire. So you um, basically you want to inspire as many people as possible. More mainstream in terms of there's, there's such a, a happiness that I think comes from being healthier, such a, a feeling of co accomplishment when you're able to set a goal in the gym and then accomplish it and realize you can do that with anything in life. And that, is, to me, is what I want, I want the mainstream to be a part of. It's not this, you know, club, it's exclusive fitness, you know, it's for everyone. Okay, well, that's uh, fascinating. Well, you're a sponsored athlete, as I said earlier. What is it that makes your sponsors special? Because you, I mean, I, I always get the impression you and Owen are, you know, you work really well together. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like me as a brand, as a person, and Owen, have the same goals and that it's all about integrity. They don't make any crazy claims. What you see is what you get with Owen. So they'll, they'll be the first people to tell you nutrition first, training first, then supplementation. They're not trying to pull the wool over anyone's eyes. Um, and I think a lot of people, it resonates with them and they uh, you know get attached emotionally to that. And you know for me as well, being a part of that brand has done great things for me. Just, yeah. I mean, uh, unbelievable people. And, and bodybuild.com, of course, uh, great for profile exactly. building. Um, I was lucky enough to interview Ryan DeLuca yeah. earlier, who's an awesome bloke he and, is. you know, amazing for the industry. And, um, and, well, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so, you know, that must have been transformational for you, I guess, because you're, you're obviously all over bodybuilding. You know, and, and I, I, get, I don't give enough credit to Optimum and bodybuilding.com for or anything that I do is, is really a, a reflection of how great they are. Uh, Ryan DeLuca, CEO of Bodybuilding.com. My dad actually had him in high school. Oh wow! So in grade 12, my dad was his teacher. Yeah. And uh, you know, so from my hometown, just been amazing. And I really look up to him as a mentor, as someone that not just in fitness and how he's able to inspire people or start Bodybuilding.com, but as a father as just a man that is somebody who i really look up to yeah so um does that so you live on the west coast then do you i do i live in idaho idaho so where, where bodybuilding.com is at oh right okay. i'm from there oh right yeah. oh well that's handy as it well nice. you're yeah. a local guy I, I lived in la for a while it, you know it was crazy it was fun at times but i needed a slower pace of life and really a, a better quality of life for me was to move back to idaho okay but how do you manage your sort of home life with this crazy schedule? Um, you know, I luckily enough, I have my girlfriend understands, uh, my family understands, and I, I, when I'm home, I'm you know having this job where I'm on the road a lot. When I'm home, I'm able to spend a lot of quality time. I don't have a nine to five job. It's either full on or full off. Yeah. And balancing that is always the key for me. Okay. Well, look, it's been absolutely fascinating speaking to you. Thank you. I want to thank you once again for coming over to Body Power. We love having you here. Well, you were here last year as well. I was well. here last year, yeah. So this is your second year at Body Power. My second year, I love it. It's, every year it gets better, it gets bigger. I can't believe added this extra hole. I haven't even actually been down to this side of things. But just to see the amount of people here and then the quality of the show, the organization, uh, one of my favorite shows anywhere in the world. Well, thanks very much for saying that. Well, you're always welcome. 
like I say, the UK absolutely loves Steve I Cook. I love the UK. And we want you to come back time and time again. I, I will have me as long as you guys want me. <laughs> or I will, if you guys have me, I will be here, is what I want to say. Yeah.